Could all units just take up the original prop position? In London, Mo and Helen have started a major surveillance operation. Their target, a sophisticated fraudster, Tanya Amisi, has amassed 13 fraudulent housing benefit claims using false identities. They want to see what else she's been up to. Tanya's doing pretty well for herself. She lives in Chelsea, one of the most expensive areas in the country. Yes, yes, back to you, Visual. The team has cancelled most of her housing benefit claims. And this morning, one of the few councils she's still getting money from has called her in for a meeting. So we have a feeling that she may turn up in order to get paid. Um, and if she doesn't, my feeling is that she's got other claims that we haven't located as yet. She drops her child off at school, but instead of going to the council for her meeting, she goes back home and stays there. She must have something else up her sleeve. The local authority investigator, benefit assessor, has called her, and when she's asked to speak to Tanya Westwood, the person on the phone line is, has turned around and said, who? And then she said, oh, yes. And then the phone has gone off, so the assessor's called, made an attempt to call her again, and it's gone to answering machines. So we'll just sit tight and wait to see what happens. Over the next three days, they're going to try to find out if she has any accomplices and see what bank card she uses in an attempt to link her to the fraudulent claims. The loss of her housing benefits doesn't seem to have affected her much. She's on the upper level in Nando's. She's told her across the road from Howard. Please don't tell me she's gone to Howard. She's going to Howard. She's shopping in, um, in Howard. The suspect is now walking through the cosmetic sector on the ground floor. She's looking for the children in the burner section. She's got a few bags. Her son's got a bag. They've been, um, having a great time. The surveillance links Tanya to the bank accounts being used for fraud. The investigation also throws up another bank account they weren't aware of. This is um, a fraction of um, Tanya Westwood, Tanya Meese's claims um, that we've got from some of the local authorities in London. It's three months on, and they've now built up a fuller picture of how Tanya operates. Whilst we're out in surveillance, she had actually had a live claim in the borough, in the borough of Newham. It transpired that she took out a tenancy agreement with a private housing association. She then further sublet the flat to three other individuals, took deposits from them, and they were also paying her just over £500 a month rent, each of them. On top of that, she went back to Newham Council and claimed housing benefit. By stealing the housing benefit and then subletting the flat, she was making up to £3,000 a month on a single property. It's a scam, she repeats, over and over and always ends the same way. The tenants get thrown out. It's become obvious that this is her thing. This is a, 
her MO and this is what she does because it's easy money. She obviously don't care about people's lives. She wrecks people's lives. As long as her life is okay, she uses it to buy designer clothes and she uses it to show off on the internet. You know what? I'm looking forward to getting arrested. It would be just nice to say that we've shut you down and you can't do this anymore. And, you, you know, we're, we're not going to allow you to get away with it. With a mountain of evidence against her, the plan is to arrest Tanya Amisi in the next few days. In Staffordshire, the investigation into fisherman Stephen Buster Fitzpatrick continues. It's a well-known fact that he's been fiddling. Trips to local fishing ponds have given her an insight into the man she's following. His nickname's Sick Note, so um, I think they, they all know that he's claimed